And this episode, I will talk about what would I advise my younger self. Um, what I would advise my younger self would be that despite wanting to publish my books in, say, in 1992 or in 1986 when I started writing basically short stories, I would have, I would tell myself to just write them down keep writing them in a huge, rather thick notebook. So you would just take it with you anywhere you go, not journal into it, just write stories in it, whether they're short or novels, just, and also make sure that you not write down in, in pencil because eventually it fades away. Just use pen as long as it's in color black or in navy blue or blue, perhaps in red, but it has to be a good ink that you know it's not gonna wear off, wear off and, but you also have to like not lose that particular thick notebook binder just because it eventually has your stories in it. So write them all down. And then once the opportunity comes back uh, by, then you go ahead and publish them. And even though um, I made a mistake once, like in 2019, around uh, the end of that year, I started publishing books with the wrong company. Publishing company, it was named blurb.com from India. Problem with them is that I never received a single penny. They never paid me. They never paid anyone and from the community of that particular site or website, um, they all complained that nobody was making money. They were only publishing and that's it. What I liked about it only was, it was the, con the uh, how can I say, the interior that you could, um, the, the meaning that the book, if you selected the pages to be in um, old, a vintage pink, faded pink, then you get away with it, with publishing the book like that, with that color of a page. Um, then also in like, for instance, on 20th May, 1820 novel, what I did back then was with that particular uh, publishing company is that I selected the pages to be in pink, also um, the letters to be in red and also in black. But the problem with them, and, and the interior was perfect. And even though for me, it was the first time that I ever formatted a book, I never done that before. And as for the hardcover, they never told me that it was wrong. The cover itself, the, the, the picture of the book, the cover itself was actually in the center and all around it was white. But they never told me that it was it was not it had a huge um, error. They never fixed it. They never told me. They just let allow me to publish it. But they never told me if the interior was okay, if the external was alright. They just allow all of us to publish it. And so once I was like googling myself, googling my books basically, and there was a particular book entitled L'Enfant Invisible which means in English, the little, the little girl, the invisible little girl, basically about my daughter. And um, so the particular book was being sold on eBay, if I'm not mistaken, for 100, $118, including t um, shipping and taxes. And I was like, all right, but, and that was set as used. I never received anything. So I contacted them and there was a, like an, um, there was an ongoing back and forth email with them. The employee of Blurb was a Latino girl. And so what they ended up doing the company, it was delete all my books from the profile that I had set up where I was publishing my books. And 
And um, so what I ended up doing afterwards is not, I, I asked them to bring down all, to pull down all my books, but because I was using the ISBNs, it seems that somehow it was still attached to them. And so the books were still being sold. They didn't pull down Linfontine BC from my understanding, it's still lingering. And if they are making money, they're making money, but not with me. And but there are no uh, five stars, or it's not graded. It's just how it is. And so then, uh, what I would tell my younger self further on would have been: don't publish with them. Wait until you publish at least with Amazon, because there was a, a girl, who actually a woman, who told me on, um, what to call, on Instagram, and. She's a medium, so she told me that I should just publish my books with Amazon. And so, because they have a tool so I could use and so forth. And I went on and used it with them. I published my all of my books so far. I have also earned revenues with my the sales of those books. They also let me know if the cover is uh, has some, an error, if it's not well centered, if uh, the interior is missing something, if the ISBN is missing, if it's mixed with another one to add the correct one, you know, they are on top of you 100% versus the other ones, they're, they're not, they're absent. It's like their thing with Blurb is not actually publishing books, it's something else. Probably is laundering. And as for what else what I will tell myself, it would be to study, prepare yourself so when you hit 50, you won't be unemployed. You will be hired or you will be probably doing your, um, just study law school so you can have your own uh, bar, a uh, buffet basically and you will have employers and other lawyers to work with you or they will have their offices and you will perhaps uh, join them as a lawyer and you will be earning money you will not be unemployed because the the, the deal with um being a writer or an author is that you only gain fame you don't become rich or wealthy the tricks from other authors or writers from my understanding upon what I read on Google and YouTube is that you have to um, such promote your book. You have to pay to move your book from the shelf because with, uh, with Amazon is there, but if I don't inform the other ones to go buy my book that is out, they're not going to buy it. You know, I have to like, an author or a writer has to push. So what I created, which I didn't know, is that since I was not an expert in in the writing world, such authors or editorials or deal, I was not an expert. I didn't know anything that I that I actually needed an, a publisher. Basically, you need a publisher to publish your books. And so when I was asked by Amazon what was my publisher, I was like, but I don't have a publisher. And then the agent or employee of Amazon, he told me that I can be my own publisher without having a, a company. And then in the long run, you can um, create or brand or patent your own publishing company. And that's how you can grow within. So. Further on, what I ended up doing was to set up my own publishing company, always with the thought or idea of what I always have envisioned to own, perhaps a castle in France. So as mentioned before, because I like the bricks and the red bricks exterior in houses or um, the beams, wooden beams, um, you know, going from across the ceiling, um, such huge beams. So it would be brick and bois. And so I left it like that. It, it was first, it was uh, Le Chateau de Brick Bois, 
Odu Bricois, and then it was um, publishing, let me see, it was uh, Brick and Bois Publishing Editorial, and now it's just Casa di Trice Brick et Bois, and then SPA. Basically, that is all Italian, because I want to like, uh, now, like this would be like the legal, the ordeal business thing. And also to tell myself back then, is to advise myself to take the editorial or publishing company as if it's your actual revenue income, because in the end, that's it what it is, even though it's not that you can become um, a millionaire or gain uh, millions or thousands for that rig matters or perhaps hundreds in selling books they don't move and also you have to push bear in mind that you have to push you need to um what's it called promote the books so if i go on amazon because right now what i'm doing is that i'm pushing on with publishing the ebooks which i'm not fond of that but for nine dollars and 99 cents i think is worth it and perhaps on black friday is gonna be sold if i'm not mistaken for 2.95 or 2.99 like three dollars each ebook then perhaps i can increment the uh, the sales on amazon so as a publisher in my end if i I would need to promote the actual books, like have to pay Amazon so the, the books can move. Because that's what, that is what an actual publisher does. It has to um, promote the book. So if I go, uh, let me see. If I go on to Amazon where I'm selling my books and I go where it says Kindle on Napoleona e Bonaparte, Storia e Teatro, that I have published uh, in 2024, the 9th of March of this year. And I went on on April, on today actually, it, it released the ebook based on that particular book. So if people like the ebook, they will eventually proceed to buy the actual book and so um it says let me see it doesn't give the option ironically to oh yeah i'd promote and advertise so if i take on it as an example I wouldn't have to do this eventually. So to promote your book on Amazon, you can reach more readers, uh, readers, earn more money and maximize your sales potential. When you choose um, to select, you elect to make your Kindle ebook exclusive Kindle on Amazon. And as for the moment, I have enrolled the um, the Kindle into to start the date on the 16th of April, and then it ends on the 14th of April. Not exactly sure what I have enrolled myself into, because as I mentioned before, this is actually it's a learning process. I'm I'm still learning. It doesn't mean because I have published almost 95 books without counting the electronic books then that i'm an expert i'm just learning um if you want to cancel enrollment please run and check the box you can cancel enrollment up until 14 of uh, 16 of april pacific center time 19 of april or the date of your first free promotion whichever is easier so it's on a free let me see about kindle select 
what is the Kindle owner's lending library? Uh, what should I choose? My books are distributed in Kindle owner's lending library. It seems that my uh, Kindle will be lent, bow borrowed, and then if the librarian they like it, how can I earn? Let me see. Then they will eventually accept the book. But my book is supposedly is already displayed on Amazon and Target the stores in the USA. But eventually I uh, have to pay, it doesn't, on this one itself, it doesn't mention what I should be paying. But if, for an example, if I check on something else, just to see, um, say on this one, uh, let me see, promote and advertise. Then I choose on the market. And suppose if the market will be in Italy, then create an ad campaign. If I tick on it, eventually it's going to take me to a page, wherever it, it opens. And just to tell myself back then, it would be, uh, bear in mind that you're not going to be earning a lot of wages. You will be eventually You will be eventually, um, you have to like push, promote the books, or if you don't want to promote the books with money, then you go directly with um, the social media so you, that you have to open for the round. There will be social medias, and you just have to t stick on it and sponsor the books, basically and all of them, including create short books, I mean, short videos on YouTube and or videos and then mention them, perhaps show your face. If you don't want to show your face then just show the books, if you don't have the physical books, um, buy them eventually so people can see how, it, how they look, how pretty they look, uh, what is the interior that it looks like. Also, as a publisher, I have, um, you will be, in the end, uh, tempted to create your own printing company as a publisher. Um, I started binding books when I was around 26, 27 years old. It was my younger sister who um, taught me how to bind books. I don't know who taught her, but she taught me, and then my dad, uh, came in and then he also told me that the spine needed, needed uh, reinforcement, how, how to glue it with a cover. He had some expertise in that regards as well. And, um, and that's how I started. And then later on, you will want to pursue your own publishing printing company. You have to register it and you also have to go with the branding and so forth. Um, as for hot covers, is is vintage and everything is done by hand. You have to saw the, the books, but in a particular way, not the way that I did it back then. Um, and also as for printing the, the books itself and then sewing them, the other one has to be glued for paperbacks. There will not be no electronics books because I don't like that. And on my publishing company or printing company, it will only be paperback and hard covers. So bear in mind that with that printing uh, publishing company, you would probably earn money, but uh, instead of pursuing like promoting with money your own books in your own publisher, you don't have to do that. Uh, perhaps somewhat if you want to have your books be um, printed perhaps or sold at Amazon, that would be something because that is a huge um, dealer, book dealers, where it has some tons of books from anyone else, anywhere. You will want to also pursue in the writing field 
to have perhaps a film director or or um, an investor, someone who is in the film industry in Hollywood who want to make of your books, your novels, movies, that would have been a deal and you can become rapidly very wealthy with that method. But nowadays, um, producers, film producers and directors, they just don't want to make good movies. They just want to make the actions more vulgar, more bad words and rudeness. And according to them, that is that is a good movie. It's not nowadays, it's more laundering within Hollywood than actually making good, real, authentic movies. And they don't pay much in regards that they are always wanting to perhaps pay up 50,000 or 900,000 for the actual book, the novel, without selling your copyright. If you were to sell the copyright, then eventually you will lose other rights in that particular book. You have to bring it down or pull it down from all the other uh, dealing uh, bookshops, Amazon, um, uh, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, Target, all, all those stores. You have to pull down the book if you were, were ever to sell your copyright and you cannot claim that you were the author of that particular book because you have to withdraw that um, your name from it and what else would I would tell myself to it, actually that will, will have been it it and also um, move out as, as fast as you can just move out and live on your own because it's important to to live on your own so you will not be feeling miserable when one of your parents dies you have to be brave and strong and always have hobbies always have your mind occupied because the human being without um, without having their brains occupied they go mad anybody can go crazy if they don't have a hobby they would not know what to do in their spare time and there will be lots of spare time and so that's why you have to do something with your hands either creating continue writing creating books covers um cleaning the house fixing i don't know painting the house the doors um, crocheting, knitting, just keep your mind always busy because also it sleeps the cells, they go, they die. In, you, in order to keep them alive, you need to keep your brain a lot active, always. Um, be kind to stray dogs, if possible, as, adopt them as you see them on the streets. Just, just take it in your house. That's the part where I would tell my younger self to move out as, as fast as you can the, the minute that you have earned your degree in law just and you have your first job the second one second or third pay perhaps on the second or third month just leave but don't stay because your current families will actually hurt you and ask you to do things at age of 50 that you don't want to do you would not want anyone else to be asked to do such get rid of a puppy just because they don't want it in their house and that will hurt you and it will it will actually um mark you for life because in a household, if there will be actual family circle, warmth and understanding, then you know that that is a family. But when there is none and that doesn't exist and is very absent, then the only thing circling their heads is money. That is not a family. You are just there because you have nowhere to live but you will be asked to do many things that are contrary against you, but because you don't have money, you have to obey.
but that doesn't mean that you have to be let yourself be crushed mentally from narcissists pretending or claiming to be your family when they're not and you have to also set aside your beliefs and intellectuality that what you believe it is correct for them is not but just whenever the the water uh, the ocean the high tides of the ocean they become settled not to settle yourself with it instead plan your strategy and move up continue move on but don't settle down just because the high tides are down because eventually they are going to rise back up if you bring another puppy in your house actually in their house but if it were your own house then you can have 20 dogs in your house and because it's your house even if your renting is yours your rules and nobody's gonna tell them don't bring any dog but don't search for a partner so he can sustain you just always look for the possibility to sustain yourself because in the end it's just gonna be you it's gonna be about you and not about anyone else and um, so I would have fixed many things in the past if I would have known what was to come of my life. I was read once before the tarot cards by a woman, um, the aunt of a colleague that worked at Sara many years ago, like in 2014 or maybe in 2000. 2014 I believe it was yeah 2014 2015 um, she told me many things but if I wanted to know more uh, she had paid her $15 she was requesting me more money and more money but now that I think about it I would have given her the $15 because I wanted to know more such at least what I know is that I still have like at the age of 85 I will be dead so I have I'm still on time to make it to buy a house and so forth and so right now I am um, accepting my own advice because I have thought about making this sort of um, podcast in regards what would I advise myself my younger self back then when I was starting life or work uh, in, like for instance when I started working um, I don't know when I was in my 20 something I would throw up my breakfast because I, cause, because I couldn't control my emotions my insecurities because I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to start I was not trained I didn't know how to sell um, how to sell lands it was real estate. I didn't know anything of that. Um, I never worked. Uh, what I should have done probably is to start working in hotels. But then again, I'd never worked before. So, But training, you will always receive training in hotels in Central America. Not maybe in Italy. You don't. They expect you in Italy nowadays to have always a degree on anything. Perhaps to clean loose. You will need to have a degree to clean a proper loo. I mean, that's so ridiculous. Um, what backs me up is YouTube as my revenue. Right now, I'm not monetizing, but that is a process that I'm going through. Also, um, many things for YouTube, you have to monetize it. Um, there's a trick on it. You always have to promote that video if you don't do that it's gonna to remain there it's not gonna be a higher thing you're not gonna have subscribers you have to also go for uh, YouTube monthly subscriptions or yearly subscription if you don't uh, you, you won't you're just gonna stand you're gonna be on the bench basically all the time like on Amazon I'm on the bench if I don't 
move the books with social medias they don't move um so everything has to do with money uh, if you want to be also in the price or prices or books you also have to pay in a huge amount of money to be in that team and then to be probably mentioned as you have won this and that for a noble prize otherwise you're not gonna be you will always be on the bench so everything has to do with money if you want to say um if your book makes it for a film and then you're paid the amount say one million dollars you hit the job box then you can move on with the plan of buying a house in venice and you continue moving on but you have to move on your own meaning you have to live on your own you cannot think that either because you're 51 or 60 or 70 years old now you can get married don't get married don't even bother if you have reached where you are at right now you don't have you don't need a man to sustain you he will just he will only be your obstacle of always telling you not to or out of the blue he's just gonna want to sweet talk you to give him all your money or in order for him to do the finance or deal for you steal your money or get you in, in debt and trouble and so forth to just stay alone but you have to always see an alternative to get money from any company that that will be publishing always in the publishing field um internationally speaking not just for italy always keep it going and moving and don't if you do um earn money from either books or in youtube or on this podcast as well from youtube then always um don't throw your money I'm pleasing people in the house that they ask you to get rid of that puppy. They are not your family. Family is the one who accepts and welcomes a three-year-old baby puppy. Not ask you to get rid of that puppy or to give him away because I actually gave him away. And up to this day, I would have fought I will have fought for him and still keep him today he will have been here with me because eventually i still i miss him and i would like to have him here and of course the high tide is gonna rise it's gonna rise itself if you they ever see that you have that dog back in their house and then you would know eventually that they are not your family you're just there because you don't have anywhere to live, to go, to stay. But when you do have the fertility and the movement to move on, leave, because they're not your family. They are not mine. I am not theirs. It's just the ordeal that has to do with money. If you have money, then good, you stay. But if the money that you are then in, that is uh, multiplying itself on YouTube because of the videos and so forth and podcasts, they will want to hold you back so your money does not drain anywhere else so it can stay and remain so she can have your mother and all the furniture in the world because of you but not because you it is only because you have the money so she wish that your money will be earned by herself or someone else that is not you but if you bring a puppy in the house while you are in the process of buying her furniture, she will hate you because because of you, you're actually causing problems in the house. But you have to still, you will be asked anyways to abandon the puppy or any dog because she does not want it. She wants your money. So once again, what I would tell myself in my younger years, study get your degree in law don't tell anyone that you're studying that just in the house just tell them that you're studying something history i don't know to become a teacher but don't mention the, the law part because they will be multiplying in their heads how much money they can get out of you and um for publishing also write the books down guard that book as if it were the bible 
take it with you all around it because in the trips that you will be making madly going to Italy as we did once, we lost the entire container, you will lose it eventually. But as God has it, my um, part of my books, high school books and so forth, a manuscript remained and that was Charlotte, A Scottish Wonder, which I published in 2022 or 2021, something of that sort. And um, that was when I decided to, um, let me see if I can look for that particular book. That was when I decided that that is what I wanted to do, to write books. However, you know, I mean, that book, I told once only because I pushed it, but it did not sell afterwards. So what I'm going to be doing with that particular book as well is do the ebook. I have to push it like that. If I just don't, it, it will not move from the shelf. And um, so with the books that are not moving, those are the ones that are going to be reaching the electronic books. And it's not up to me if a person, um, a person says um, Kindle or deal, uh, it gets jammed and then they lose their entire books or anyone's books in it. I mean, if they lost it, they lost it. But you know what? You can still hold your all hold on to books, and you know, enjoy the reading. Um, so for this, uh, Sharia Scottish Wonder, I published it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to publish it because of the containing things, images, and I don't care honestly if I am criticized for it once it reaches um, the key, the Kindle ordeal because of the drawings, the sketches, the pencil sketches. And um, I'm just checking on which on which year did I publish it because I'm not quite sure. When did I publish it? Okay, so I got it out twice on hardcover twice because one was under Lady Angela Capelletti and then the other one was Lady Angela the Third. And from since then, I have kept it on Angela, Lady Angela the Third, and it's actually third, but is the but because I would not, I didn't want it to be that long. Then I omitted the last name, but in the outer. Um, story i kept it there i have included the the actual ordeal i mean what is my real last time and so forth so there will not be any problems in regards of turning this book into a film a movie then i would not lose the copyright my fear was that to be to lose the copyright and so i published it the first time in the first the 21st of november 2021 on hardcover and this was also the french version included because the book was so slim and so but then i published it again maybe with the font being 13 and a little bit thicker and it was only with one language and so let me see here Okay, so the one that is under Lady Angela III, it has, I love my mommy because it's loading, um, 371 pages, yeah, because I went with um, the font being, um, what's it called, the font being 13, but I also published it the 21st of November 2021, maybe I gave myself a second chance or is included as well, the French version. I think it's included. And um, it's one pound 39, 1.39 pounds in the six times nine pages, um, the size, the dimensions of the book. And, and that's about it. That would be the advice that I would give myself and I was giving myself that and I always stand by it. Now I am, 
now I am doing other things in regards the publisher. I am also leaning onto Italy because since that is my aim, that I need to lean onto it, the documentations and so forth for taxes goes onto Italy. Um, they have not replied yet, Amazon, in regards how do I get bypassing the the verification code because it's still hooked to my own phone and I can't access that old chip anymore. Um, so how can I get that part out so I can get in because I will have to then include another um, an Italian bank debit card. That's what I'm working on. So all my pays, payment, they are redirected over there. So for me, it's important to do that because I want everything to just be backed up and lean on to Italy. It, I mean, that is how it is. That, is. that is my aim. That is what I'm darting on. And that is where my dart has to go straight. And if I get a puppy, it's my puppy. I'm not letting him go. I'm, I'm going to be fighting for him. And this time I will be raising my voice because the last time I did not raise my voice because I didn't want to scare him. But now I have to raise my voice to the other ones, not to the puppy, of course. So they can understand that you cannot walk on me. So don't allow anyone else to walk on you. It doesn't matter your age. Just don't allow it. Just stand your ground. But if others are after your money, dump them or just don't even tell them. Don't even warn them. You know, I'm leaving. You know what? That's it. I'm out of here. Don't because you know their reactions, their drama, their manipulation, their narcissism, money and so forth. Then... <coughs> Excuse me. Then once <coughs> you're able to get out upon their absence, that's when you have to get, gather all your stuff, toss it in your car, in the taxi, just make it all disappear and just take your stuff with you, including the dog, your puppy, whatever. Put it in the backpack. And leave it a uh, separate half open so you can breathe. Put it on your back and gather all your stuff and just leave. That is what I would do. You have to somehow gain the strength and the courage to stand your ground. Because no one is going to stand your ground. And you, if you don't want to do a deja vu, don't. Don't allow anyone to step on you. Just leave get out but don't let anyone else know as well i'm earning this don't allow them to don't give people who have hurt you your trust again in letting them know all your whereabouts where you're at how much you're earning your home address whether they are your parents don't because if they know you, they were abusive to you verbally, they will still want to be abusive to you verbally. Because then, then they will think that you're stupid, that you're dumb, that you're easily fooled, that without them you can't exist, that your decisions will always be wrong, that because you're stupid, then you have you will then marry a stupid person because stupid people they marry stupid people. That's what. That's what my mother told me once. And so this podcast will have to encourage all of you not to open your heart, your trust to anyone who has harmed you verbally speaking. Because words coming from your parents, they are the worst bullets or knives that can cut you so deep and make you become cold, uh, such as move out, move on, just get out. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe.
give a thumbs up like like the video and or the podcast subscribe like the the podcast and also share this valuable advice to move on have a delightful day and good evening or good morning thank you